हेलो दोस्तों टैक्स और वेल्थ तो आपका स्वागत है मैं हिमांशु कुमार और आज हम बहुत ही डिफरेंट टॉपिक पे एक हमारे मित्र चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट हैं आईएम के पास आउट हैं तो उनसे हम ब्लॉकचेन पे बात करेंगे तो ऐश्वर्या गुप्ता जी हमारे साथ हैं पहले इनके बारे में मैं थोड़ा ब्रीफ बता दूं कि ब्लॉकचेन के बारे में आज हम डिस्कस करेंगे कि ऑडिट में ब्लॉकचेन की क्या यूटिलाइजेशन हो सकती है फ्यूचर में करेंट में बहुत चीजें हो रही हैं तो उस पर यह पूरा डिबेट है और उसी पर पूरी चर्चा है तो ऐश्वर्या के जो बैकग्राउंड है बाई प्रोफेशन इज ए चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट लेकिन इन्होंने कोलकाता आई से पास आउट है वहाँ पे उन्होंने एम कोर्स किया हुआ है कंसल्टेंट हैं इन्होंने जो एक्सपीरियंस फास्ट एक्सपीरियंस है पी में इन्होंने काम किया है एम में काम किया है और एम का एक फाइनेंस विजनरी अवार्ड होता है जो एम का सबसे प्रिस्टीजियस अवार्ड होता है फाइनेंस में वो भी इन्हें मिला हुआ है उसके अलावा ब्लॉकचेन में ये बहुत काम कर रहे हैं ब्लॉकचेन में कंसल्टेंट भी है बहुत तरह की अपनी सर्विसेज भी दे रहे हैं खैर ऐश्वर्य अगर आप इस पर थोड़ा और बताएं कि आपका बैकग्राउंड क्या है क्योंकि थोड़ा सा जो टेक्निकली हम लोग देखते हैं जो चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट होते हैं उससे थोड़ा डिफरेंट आपका बैकग्राउंड है तो अगर आप थोड़ा ब्रीफ करें तब हम आगे बढ़े बिल्कुल बिल्कुल सो so, uh... As uh, as you have already said, I am a chartered accountant. So I I completed my chartered accountancy in May 2018. उसके बाद I was working in developing some of the solutions for my company for my previous company, which was American Express. And वहाँ पे जब मैं ये कुछ solve कर रहा था तो cross border के solutions ढूँढ रहा था. वहाँ से I started my journey of blockchain. And blockchain is not यहाँ पे blockchain में the biggest myth people have is कि blockchain केवल उन लोगों के लिए जिनको टेक्नोलॉजी जिनको कोडिंग आती है या बिना कोडिंग के हम ब्लॉकचेन से कुछ भी नहीं कर सकते हैं तो वो चीज़ बहुत लोगों के दिमाग में थी लेकिन मैं उसमें और डीप भी किया तो ऐसा कुछ भी नहीं है बहुत ज़्यादा एक चीज़ होती है कोई भी नई टेक्नोलॉजी आती है कोई भी नई इंडस्ट्री डेवलप होती है तो उसमें बहुत ज़्यादा ज़रूरी होता है फाइनेंस प्रोफेशनल्स का भी रोल जितना एक टेक्की का रोल होता है तो वो चीज़ मैंने एक्सप्लोर करना शुरू करी मैंने काफ़ी स्टार्टअप्स के संग वर्क करना शुरू किया बैक एंड में वो लोग जो भी काम कर रहे थे ब्लॉकचेन के ऊपर कैसे प्रोजेक्ट्स बना रहे थे फिर मैंने काफ़ी कोर्सेज किए ब्लॉकचेन के ऊपर आई से ब्लॉकचेन के ऊपर मैंने एक और कोर्स किया फिर उसके बाद क्या कहते हैं मैंने काफ़ी स्टार्टअप्स में वर्क किया समझने की कोशिश करी कि कैसे ये टेक्नोलॉजी वर्क करती है कैसे क्या चीज़ें होती हैं एंड फिर क्योंकि एजुकेशन अगर इंडिया में देखी जाए तो काफ़ी महंगी है ब्लॉक की कोई भी कोर्स अगर आप किसी भी इंस्टीट्यूट से करते हैं तो तीन चार लाख रुपए कहीं भी नहीं जाते हैं तो मुझे लगा कि इस टेक्नोलॉजी को एक ऐसे रेट पे लेके आना चाहिए बिकॉज इससे यूथ जो है इंडिया का एक काफ़ी अच्छी एम्प्लॉयमेंट लेवल पे पहुंच सकता है बिकॉज यहाँ पे जब आप जाते हैं तो यहाँ पे इतनी अपॉर्चुनिटीज़ होती हैं इतनी ज़्यादा अपॉर्चुनिटीज़ हैं जो मुझे दिख रही हैं जहाँ पर मैं काम कर रहा हूँ कि आप कोई उसका एंड नहीं है तो आई वॉन्टेड मो पीपल टू गेट इन सो आई स्टार्ट माई एजुकेशन वेंचर जहाँ पर मैंने कोर्सेज निकाले हैं स्किल नाइन्टी तो वहाँ पे मेरे कोर्सेज मैंने लिस्ट किए फिर एज अ कंसल्टेंट आई गो टू कंपनीज वेर आई टेल देम वेदर ब्लॉकचेन इज अ सॉल्यूशन वेर दैट शुड बी इंप्लीमेंटेड एंड ब्लॉकचेन इज नॉट सिंगल सॉल्यूशन कि भाई ब्लॉकचेन लगाना है तो ब्लॉकचेन लगाना इज नॉट द आंसर ब्लॉकचेन कौन सी ब्लॉकचेन यूज करनी है बिकॉज हर ब्लॉकचेन अलग अलग तरीके से डेवलप होती है और हर यूज केस ब्लॉक का अलग अलग है तो फिर वो कंसल्ट करना फिर टैक्सेज क्योंकि इंडिया में कोई टैक्स के रूल्स नहीं है लॉज नहीं है और ब्लॉक के टैक्सेज जो क्रिप्टो के टैक्सेज होते हैं बेसिकली वो बहुत ही डिफिकल्ट होते हैं कैलकुलेट करने तो ये सब चीजें मैंने स्टार्ट करी चलिए बहुत अच्छा इट्स रियली इंटरेस्टिंग कि एक नया डोमेन है नई इन्फॉर्मेशन है हमारे लिए भी और आज हमारे व्यूअर्स को भी एक नया इन्फॉर्मेशन मिलेगा प्लीज तो आप स्टार्ट करें आ, आपका पीपीटी मैं शेयर कर रहा हूँ यस तो एज अ ब्लॉक जब भी मैं uh, किसी भी फोरम में जाता हूँ सबसे पहले मैं ये दो फोटोज दिखा दूँ फोटोज दिखाने का मेरा केवल और केवल इंटेंशन ये रहता है मुझे ये जानने की हमेशा कोशिश करना होती है कि दो दो इमेजेस आपके सामने स्क्रीन पे दिख रही हैं वो दोनों इमेजेस क्या हैं मतलब वो दोनों इमेजेस सेम हैं या वो दोनों इमेजेस डिफरेंट हैं मतलब ये दिस इज समथिंग व्हिच आई वांट टू नो फ्रॉम द ऑडियंस इफ यू कैन से इफ दे आर सेम यू कैन से यस इफ दे आर नॉट सेम से नो प्लीज जो देख रहे हैं अगर आप कमेंट करें तो अच्छा रहेगा जो ये पूछ रहे हैं सो दैट की क्लियरिटी और इंटरेक्शन भी उस हिसाब से बना रहे सो इन दोनों मैचेस का मैं आंसर बताता हूँ क्या है ये दोनों मैचेस सेम है अगर आप दोनों को गौर से देखेंगे तो बहुत कुछ आंसर आए आप देखें ओके यस नो ओके तो बेसिकली द थिंग दैट आई वॉन्ट टू से बोथ द ब्रिजेज आर सेम द ओनली रीजन वाई आई शो दिस इमेजेस दीज ब्रिजेज रिप्रेजेंट आर नॉलेज बेस 
कि हमको कितनी नॉलेज है नो मैटर हम किस लेवल पे हैं हम एक मे बी बिगिनर लेवल पे हैं या हम हो सकता है बहुत एडवांस लेवल पे हैं हमारे पास नॉलेज बहुत है लेकिन टेक्नोलॉजी एक ऐसी चीज़ है जो टेक्नोलॉजी जब आती है तो टेक्नोलॉजी आपकी नॉलेज नहीं आपकी अपग्रेडेशन देखती है कैसे आप उस टेक्नोलॉजी को अडॉप्ट करके अपनी नॉलेज को यूज़ कर सकते हैं सिमिलर यही वाला केस है पहले हॉन्ड्रेस ब्रिज जो था जो उसका यूज केस क्या था दैट वॉज बींग यूज एज अ ब्रिज टू मूव फ्रॉम वन पोर्शन ऑफ दिटी टू अनदर अब पैराडाइम चेंज हो गया है पानी जो है वो उधर फिसक गया है तो ब्रिज अभी भी कायम है विच इज नॉलेज हमारे पास अभी भी है बट टेक्नोलॉजी जो है वो टेक्नोलॉजी चेंज होने की वजह से अब इस ब्रिज का कोई यूज केस नहीं रह गया सो विद दैट बहुत सारे लोग हैं ये जो जो मेरे पास ये सवाल लेके आते हैं कि यशोर मैंने तो पाँच साल ये कर लिया मैंने तो दस साल ये कर लिया मैंने तो तीस साल ये कर लिया है अब मैं क्या अब ब्लॉकचेन मेरा क्या कर लेगा या टेक्नोलॉजी नॉट ब्लॉकचेन बट टेक्नोलॉजी मेरा क्या कर लेगा सो इट्स जस्ट दैट टेक्नोलॉजी जैसे जैसे अपग्रेड होती है अगर हम लोग साथ में अपग्रेड होते हैं तो हमें उसका फायदा मिलता है और अगर हम उसको साथ में नहीं लेके जाते हैं तो प्रॉब्लम ये हो जाती है कि वो वहाँ से टेक्नोलॉजी अब आप, आपका जो भी यूज नॉलेज है वो उसको यूजलेस कर सकती है सो विद दैट आई आई ओपन माय सेशन एंड सबसे पहले हम ये कोशिश करने की चीज की या समझने की कोशिश करते हैं कि ब्लॉकचेन आया क्यों मतलब ब्लॉकचेन की जरूरत क्या थी या ब्लॉकचेन क्यों लाया गया तो इंटरनेट से इसका यू कैन से इट वॉज स्टार्टेड तो इंटरनेट वेन वी वेयर ऑन दी इंटरनेट वी वॉन्टेड टू अंडरस्टैंड और इंटरनेट एक तरह से चार टेकेड हो गया तो चार टेकेंड में इंटरनेट ने हमको क्या क्या दे दिया चार टेकेंड में इंटरनेट ने हमें ईमेल्स दे दिया है डॉट कॉम वर्ड दे दिया है वर्ल्ड वाइड वेब दे दिया है सोशल मीडिया दे दिया है मोबाइल वेब दे दिया है बिग डेटा दे दिया है ये सारी चीज़ें दे चुका है तो उससे हमको बहुत फायदे भी हुए हैं क्या फायदे हुए हैं सबसे ज़्यादा एक तो सबसे सबसे बड़ी बात हमारा सर्च करने की कॉस्ट कम हो गई है कोलेबोरेशन हम लोग बहुत ईजिली इंटरनेट के थ्रू कर सकते हैं तो हम किसी दूसरे के पास जाने की जरूरत नहीं है हम एक्चुअली ऑनलाइन बैठ के ये सारी चीज़ें कर सकते हैं एंड जो भी इन्फॉर्मेशन एक्सचेंज हो रही है वो भी आज बहुत स्विफ्ट है आज अगर कोई यूएस में मुझे कुछ बताना चाहता है तो वो इन्फॉर्मेशन के लिए मुझे अलग से यूएस नहीं जाना पड़ेगा मुझे घर पे बैठ के मैं वो चीज़ें ले सकता हूँ तो इंटरनेट हैज गिवन एस ऑल दीज थिंग्स लेकिन देर आर सम थिंग्स ऑन द इंटरनेट इंटरनेट वॉज गुड जब हमको इन्फॉर्मेशन मूव करनी थी अब अगर हमें इन्फॉर्मेशन के साथ साथ मनी मूव करनी है असेस मूव करनी है या हमको क्या कहते हैं जो भी चीज़ फिजिकल फिजिकल असेट है उसको डिजिटली मूव करना है तो उसको हम इंटरनेट के थ्रू नहीं कर सकते और दूसरी बात अगर हम जब भी हम इंटरनेट पे ट्रांजैक्शन कर रहे होते हैं तो हमको ये नहीं पता होता कि हम किसके संग ट्रांजैक्शन कर रहे हैं बहुत बार ऐसा होता है कि हमने पैसा भेज दिया क्योंकि किसी ने कहा था या कोई थर्ड पार्टी हमें बीच में आके ट्रस्ट बिल्ड करती है लाइक अगर आपको फॉर एग्जाम्पल मुझे किसी चीज़ के लिए पेमेंट करना है तो यू नीड पे टी एम यू नीड पे पैल यू नीड ऑल दीज थर्ड पार्टीज जो आपका सारा डेटा कलेक्ट करेंगी और उसके बाद ट्रांजेक्शन को कम्प्लीट कर देगी तो आइडेंटिटी मुझे नहीं पता चलेगी मे बी उस थर्ड पार्टी को पता चल जाएगी बट मुझे नहीं पता चलेगी आई डोंट नो हु आई हु आई एम टॉकिंग टू सेकेंड इज हम जब किसी को यही नहीं समझ सकते कि हम किसके संग ट्रांजैक्शन कर रहे हैं तो हम उस पर ट्रस्ट कैसे करें जब हम उस पर ट्रस्ट नहीं कर सकते हैं तो प्रॉब्लम इज जब हम ट्रस्ट नहीं कर सकते तो हो सकता है जो हमारी बिजनेस के लैंडस्केप इंटरनेट ने खोले हैं वो एक तरह से सीमित रह जाए बिकॉज अभी भी हम उसको उस इंसान के ऊपर ट्रस्ट नहीं कर सकते क्योंकि इंटरनेट ने हमें वो केपेबिलिटी नहीं दी और उसके बाद इतने सारे स्कैम्स होते रहते हैं जो स्कैम्स को देखते हुए भी हम लोग काफ़ी कॉशियस रहते हैं इंटरनेट के ऊपर एंड द लास्ट एंड द बिगेस्ट प्रॉब्लम इज अभी भी इंटरनेट ने बोला था कि हम सबको फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन का पार्ट बना देंगे फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन इज बेसिकली वे पीपल आर कनेक्टेड टू द बैंक एंड द फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट थ्रू विच द मनी कैन फ्लो फ्रॉम हियर एंड देर तो स्टिल देर आर अराउंड टू पॉइंट फाइव बिलियन पीपल हु आर नॉट इन दीज फाइनेंशियल सिस्टम्स अब वो कहीं भी हो सकते हैं वो इंडिया में भी हो सकते हैं वो अफ्रीका में भी हो सकते हैं वो कहीं भी हो सकते हैं बट देर आर लॉट ऑफ पीपल लेकिन इन लोगों के पास भले ही बैंकिंग फैसिलिटी नहीं है लेकिन इनमें से टू थर्ड के पास मोबाइल फोन्स हैं जो कि इंटरनेट से इंटरनेट जिसमें चलता है वी मीन्स दीज आर स्मार्ट फोन दैट दीज पीपल पोजेस इफ दीज पीपल पोजेस स्मार्ट फोन्स इफ दीज पीपल हैव द इंटरनेट is there a way even without the financial systems or banking systems we can create the amount of trust so that people can go ahead and people can earn from it or people can transact and they become a part of financial systems now this is the whole requirement that was being sought out ki isko kaise solve kare isme kaise karke to isi ke liye we we got a solution called blockchain ab sam samajhne ke liye blockchain ki main definition bol sakta hu बट डेफिनेशन तो आप गूगल से भी कर सकते
इफ यू आर अ स्टूडेंट तो कॉलेज में या स्कूल में इफ यू आर अ प्रोफेशनल इन यूर अर्ली लाइफ मे बी योर न्यू मीटिंग्स विद बॉस और योर न्यू आउटिंग्स या फिर अगर आप बहुत ही सीनियर है तो गेट टूगेदर्स गैदरिंग जो प्रोफेशनल होती हैं अब जब ये सारी मीटिंग्स होती हैं ये जब भी ये कोई इवेंट होता है या कुछ भी होता है तो हमेशा जब हम कंट्रीब्यूशन देते हैं अपना तो हमें ये लगता है कि हमने कंट्रीब्यूशन तो इतना दिया है लेकिन इतना खर्चा हुआ नहीं होगा पक्का किसी ने पैसे मार लिए होंगे ये एक एग्जाम्पल दे सकता हूँ एंड आई आई बिलीव आप लोगों ने ये चीज़ कभी ना कभी तो फील करी होगी इफ यू हैव फेल्ट इट एक बार येस लिखने से आई जस्ट नो कि यू आर यू गाइज आर एक्टिव so i think i got some replies okay so basically what i want to say is yahan pe okay yes correct 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 okay so basically exactly that is what i want to say here so aisi cheez hoti hai to hum kya kar sakte hain matlab agar hum college ya school life mein hain to hum uh, apps download kar sakte hain jisme ye sare expenses hum likh sakte hain to या फिर हम एक गूगल शीट बना लेते हैं सबकी सबसे सिंपल बिकॉज एवरी वन नोज वट गूगल शीट इज गूगल शीट बना के हम एक काम करते हैं जैसे अब इसको एग्जाम्पल को थोड़ा सा छोटा करते हैं जैसे पांच लोग थे जो पार्टी करने जा रहे थे या मूवी देखने जा रहे थे जब वो मूवी देखने जा रहे थे तो ऐसा नहीं होगा कि हर इंसान अपने लिए पाँच पाँच सौ रुपये दे देकर टिकट खरीदेगा कोई एक इंसान उनके लिए टिकट खरीदेगा कोई एक इंसान खाने का पैसे दे देगा कोई दूसरा इंसान क्या कहते हैं हो सकता है आने जाने के पैसे दे देगा और बाद में सबको टोटल करके डिवाइड करके बांट दिए जाएंगे पैसे तो अब इस इसमें ये वाली फीलिंग ना आए कि किसी ने मेरे पैसे ज्यादा चुरा लिए हमने क्या किया गूगल शीट बना ली उसमें सबके गूगल अकाउंट्स डाल दिए अब क्या हम कर रहे हैं कि जितना भी डेटा है वो डेटा को उठा के मतलब किसी ने टिकट को पेमेंट किया उसने उस गूगल शीट में अपलोड कर दिया उसने बगल में गूगल शीट में अपलोड करने के बाद वहाँ पे क्या कहते हैं एक तरह से वो दे दिया कि ये वाला बिल लगा हुआ है ये देखो मेरी रिसीट है तो दिस इज अ डेटा दिस इज ऑथेंटिक अब उसके बाद ऐसे सेकेंड ने किया ऐसे थर्ड ने किया और जब पूरा हम लोग का आउटिंग खत्म हो गया तो एंड में हम लोगों ने देख लिया किसने कितने पैसे दिए थे सबने अपना प्रूफ लगा दिया था सब कुछ हो गया अब इसमें प्रॉब्लम क्या है इसमें प्रॉब्लम ये है कि पहली बात ये तो सर्वर पे डेट किसके सर्वर पे सेव है ये सर्वर पे सेव है गूगल के अब गूगल ऑब्वियसली हमारा डेटा फिडल नहीं करेगी लेकिन उसके पास पावर है उस डेटा को डिलीट एडिट मॉडिफाई करने की या उसको कुछ भी उस डेटा को गायब कर देने की पहली चीज दूसरी चीज ये डेटा एक सेंट्रलाइज सर्वर पे है एंड मोस्टली जितने सर्वर्स हैक होते हैं वो 99% परसेंट सेंट्रलाइज सर्वर्स होते हैं तो आपका डेटा हैक भी हो सकता है ना अभी यहाँ तो फाइनेंशियल डेटा नहीं था तो आपको कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ा लेकिन अगर ये फाइनेंशियल डेटा होता है तो आप क्या करते तो यहाँ पे बेसिकली क्या हुआ कि फाइनेंशियल डेटा को की वजह से आपका फाइनेंशियल डेटा का लॉस भी हो सकता है अब इसको मैं कंपेयर करता हूँ ब्लॉक चेन से मैन आई कंपेयर विद ब्लॉक चेन आई हैव टू टेक अ एग्जाम्पल टू मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट एक्जैक्टली इज ब्लॉक चेन बिकॉज नॉट All the blockchains are exactly similar. They are different types of blockchains using different types of features, building on different platforms. So, सबसे सबसे easy one या सबसे पहले जो आया था उसकी बारे में बात कर लेते हैं Bitcoin. Now, Bitcoin is a blockchain network. जहाँ पे हमने क्या किया कोई भी data जो हमने जैसे Google Sheet में upload कर रहे थे तो सबसे पहले मेरी problem क्या थी उसको data को edit कर सकते थे delete कर सकते थे modify कर सकते थे कोई भी चीज़ अगर मैंने block पे लिख के ब्लॉकचेन पे ऐड कर दिया है तो ना तो मैं उसको एडिट कर सकता हूँ ना मैं उसको डिलीट कर सकता हूँ ना मैं उसको मॉडिफाई कर सकता हूँ मैं केवल एक काम कर सकता हूँ मैं उस पर और डेटा ऐड कर सकता हूँ अब इसको अकाउंटिंग टर्म टर्मिनोलॉजीज में अगर आप देखेंगे या ऑडिट की टर्मिनोलॉजीज में देखेंगे तो दिस इज समथिंग वेर यू डोंट नीड एनी टू कम अहेड एंड टू सर्टिफाई कि भाई ये डेटा सही है वाई बिकॉज ब्लॉक चेन इज इनेबलिंग दैट You cannot insert the data in between. You cannot modify the data. You cannot delete the data. You cannot do any such thing. You can just add data. If you have entered one thing after this data only, you can add another data. So, the most important problem is which is that we can change any data and we can manipulate any data. This is gone. Second is hacking. We are talking about centralized server. Again, if I again I will take the example of Bitcoin here. Yeah, blockchain is there. Because the Bitcoin 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 and if i take the example of bitcoin what happens there is we have 100000 nodes meaning jo data hamara ek server pe save ho raha tha google pe ha with google you will have ops on site hot sites warm sites wo sab backup honge data ke but wo original data nahi hoga yahan pe hum original data ki hi copy jo hai wo around 100000 logon ke paas ya 5000 ya 10000 logon ke paas alag alag jagah save kar rahe hain to agar hum wahi same data 
जो है वो अगर अलग अलग जगह के सेव कर रहे हैं तो हैक करने के लिए क्या होगा या अटैक होगा तो एक सर्वर पे होगा दो सर्वर पे होगा तीन पे होगा चार पे होगा एक साथ दस हजार सर्वर पे अटैक नहीं हो सकता है बिकॉज एक तो ये पूरे ग्लोब में बैठे हुए हैं पूरे ग्लोब में डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड है एंड एक पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम पे इतना बड़ा अटैक करना इज ऑलमोस्ट नेक्स्ट टू इम्पॉसिबल आई एम नॉट सिंग इट्स इम्पॉसिबल आई एम सिंग इट्स नेक्स्ट टू इम्पॉसिबल तो आपका ये वाला डेटा ये वाला इशू भी खत्म हो गया कि कोई डेटा को वो हैक करके वहां से डेटा गायब कर सकता है यहाँ पे डेटा चाहे एक को हैक करेंगे दो को हैक करेंगे तीन को करेंगे बट इतने डेटा सोर्सेज हैं कि आप वहां से फिर किसी और को हैक नहीं कर सकते तो दैट इज द सेकेंड थिंग उसके बाद मैनेज बाय क्लस्टर ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स यहाँ पे सेंट्रलाइज सर्वर्स उसको मैनेज कर रहे थे यहाँ पे जैसे मैंने बोला अलग अलग नोट्स होती हैं या अलग 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 नोट्स पे सारा डेटा जो है वो जाके सेव रहे फिर उसके बाद इज नॉट ओन बाय अ सिंगल एंटिटी ब्लॉक चेन इफ आई टॉक अबाउट पब्लिक ब्लॉक चेन दे आर दी प्रॉपर्ट दे आर नॉट दी प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ एनी सिंगल इंडिविजुअल और सिंगल कंपनी दे आर आउट इन दी ओपन वेर यू एंड आई कैन गो हेड कैन पार्टिसिपेट कैन टेक एक्शन एंड ऑल दो थिंग्स सो we are not going and we, it's not under control of any so here what we have created we have created a time stamp series because our data ek bar likh denge to usko aap edit ya kuch bhi nahi kar sakte hain immutable records hain jiski wajah se aapko proper audit trail mil rahi hai audit trail milne ke sath sath aapki aapko us pe transparency bhi mil rahi hai and aapke data ko hack nahi kiya ja sakta kyunki wo data ek jagah nahi multiple servers pe saved hai and it's not owned by a single entity jo kal ko down ho gayi to hamara pura data down ho jayega where you have seen like for example ki kabhi youtube down ho gaya kabhi uh, kabhi google down ho gaya kabhi kuch bhi down ho jata so these are centralized servers jo down ho jate hain yahan pe because these are decentralized servers and these are agar ek down hoga to there are a lot more which are still working so there is no almost zero downtime so that is what is blockchain and jitne bhi block hum blockchain pe add karte ja rahe hain ye cryptographically cryptography is the art or is, is the way in which You secure the data. Security mechanism, समझ सकते हैं उसको. So each of these blocks of data is secured and bound to each other using the cryptographic principles. Hence the word blockchain. Again, the blockchain network has no central authority. It is shared and immutable ledger. The information in it is open for anyone and everyone to see. Yes, anyone and everyone can see the data. If I go right now, want to go ahead and I want to show you the data which is available on the Bitcoin network. you can download the from the first transaction that ever happened there to the transaction at the time you were downloading it would be somewhere around 350 gps of data but you can go ahead and you can download 100% of that data so jo kam jo where you in in centralized servers where you can lose the data where you can for where it might uh, catch a fire if it is physical data and all those things so wahan pe sab jal sakta hai sab barbad ho sakta hai नेचुरल कैलामिटीज आ सकती हैं यहाँ पे जब तक तो पूरे वर्ल्ड में ऐसी कैलामिटीज नहीं आती योर डेटा इज स्टिल सिक्योर एंड स्टिल ऑनलाइन तो कंपनीज के जितने भी रेगुलेशन है कि सेवन इयर्स यू हैव टू मेंटेन द बुक्स एंड ऑल ये लाइफ टाइम के लिए डेटा मेंटेन है सो दैट इज समथिंग दैट इज अवेलेबल ऑन दी ब्लॉक चेन सो एंड इट द इनफो बट देर इज वन वन मोर थिंग अगर इफ यू थिंक दैट ये डेटा ओपन है तो कोई भी इसको देख सकता है कोई भी इसको समझ सकता है नो Until and unless you know certain specifications about this type of data, it will be jibber jabber. मतलब कुछ भी random words या random numbers use करके उन data को बनाया जाएगा जिसकी वजह से आप उसको देख तो सकते हैं लेकिन आप उसको ये नहीं बता सकते कि किसने transaction किया. So उसके लिए you either need uh, the ad, need to know whose address is that or if on which block you have saved the data या फिर किस कौन सी उसकी transaction ID है वो सब आपको पता होना चाहिए. so that is why yahan pe all these transactions that are happening you would have seen two things one is of where we are getting transparency the second thing is hum intermediaries pata rahe hain kyu kyunki i did not need any other intermediary to maintain my data to do anything on my data and to provide me any services of the third party it sab kuch bhi nahi chahiye mujhe because blockchain is enabling all those things hence it is also known as an intermediary killer the blockchain technology will disrupt the disruptors of 21st century that is uber airbnb youtube and these are just aggregators of shared economy and blockchain disables aggregators that is the core principle of it if uh, if you know uh, mr mahindra anand mahindra so he was headed towards he was there in us for one conference and he was talking to one of his associates and when he was reading about blockchain so he was talking to jaspreet brinda uh, bindra sorry and uh, you can uh, find out his ted talk as well on youtube and when he was talking about it he said ki bindra this technology is something so uh, at in 21st century all these uh, car mo- car uh, car automakers and all they were disrupted by ola and uber 
so they said this technology he uh, mr mahindra said that this technology can go ahead and this technology can disrupt the whole disruptor world now we have understood ki chalo there is a record keeping and everything is there sab kuch hai theek hai kya what exactly or what more can blockchain give you now there is another concept of blockchain which is known as smart contracts ab smart contract kya hai uske pehle i'll just take any questions if you have otherwise i'll just go and move to smart contracts no not right now okay 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 so uh this is basically what is blockchain and blockchains ke upar there are certain blockchains which are enabled or which are able to run smart contracts on them so there are a few enterprise solutions which are running smart contracts on them and there are some uh, public blockchains that are running on it if you remember if you have ever heard the name of ethereum so ethereum right now hosts the biggest or the most smart contracts uh that are run on any system so what exactly are smart contracts i'll just give you an uh, just give you an hint or just give you a, a overview now assume that you have a transaction let's say i want to pay you 1200 100 every month on first of every month for the next 12 months okay i had 1200 i did not give you that 1200 just as in i took a, i let's say i am giving you a retainership fees which is for the next 12 months for one year तो हर महीने सौ सौ डॉलर आई हैव टू पे यू ना हाउ डू यू गो अहेड एंड हाउ डू यू पे दिस यू विल टेल योर अकाउंट्स टीम अच्छा इसको जो है ना हर महीने एक तारीख को सौ डॉलर भेज दें अब अगर पहली तारीख को अकाउंटिंग टीम में जो ये ट्रांजैक्शन करता था वो बीमार पड़ गया बैंक डाउन हो गया तो यू योर पेमेंट्स विल नॉट बी प्रोसेस फर्स्ट थिंग सेकेंड थिंग इज आप बैंक को स्टैंडिंग इंस्ट्रक्शन दे सकते हो विच विल कॉस्ट यू third is aapko ya ya there will be there will be a need of escrow account because you are committing 1200 though you are not giving those 1200 so you will need a escrow account third is matlab agar bahut bada transaction hai to you might also in, include a lawyer so that he ensures that all the transactions are happening and there is no problem with, between the parties now all these people are just like third parties and when these are third parties they will always charge you nobody gives you a free service so if nobody is giving you a free service what is happening is you are incurring costs and even then there is not a 100% guarantee that the money will be deposited on on first every month to the account i have given up now enters smart contract now what does smart contract do smart contract is something which is just codes and smart contracts are self executing contracts with the terms of the contract between buyer and seller directly written on the lines of codes and bahut simple uh, logic pe ye chalta hai what if then this if this then that so basically maine usko kya kara maine smart contract ko bola ki you i am giving you 1200 dollars so the smart contract will store my 1200 dollars within it koi escrow account nahi kholega koi kuch bhi nahi kholega it will oh, store 1200 dollars within it and the next thing that it will do is it will check every month when is is the first of every month and if i have told him uh, told it ki every first of every month you have to make the payment so jaise hi wo first ki date aayegi waise hi automatic ye payments hote rahe and these payments will go on till the next 12 months and automatically fir usme agar aapko aur conditions bhi build karni hai ki isko payment tabhi hona chahiye jab usne jab usne ki services de diye hain ya isne ka kaam kar diya hai wo sab hum smart contracts mein inbuilt kar sakte hain to basically maine kya kiya jo puri ek puri ek jo book aati thi contract ki har contract ki if you will go to psus unke paas har ek purchase ke liye contract order aata hai which is like 50 or 100 pages और फिर उसको पूरा पढ़ना पड़ता है फिर कहीं इंटरप्रिटेशन में प्रॉब्लम होती है किसी ने कुछ समझा होता है वहाँ डिस्प्यूट क्रिएट होते हैं फिर एक रिकन्सिलेशन टीम बैठाई जाती है फिर एक डिस्प्यूट टीम बैठाई जाती है फिर ऑल दीज थिंग्स दीज आर दीज आर ऑल इंटरमीडियज आर कमिंग इन बिटवीन वेर यू आर स्पेंडिंग मनी टू इंश्योर दैट दर योर बिजनेस इज रनिंग स्मूथली इफ आई एम एबल टू बिल्ड ऑल दीज थिंग्स विद इन दी स्मार्ट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट देर इज नो एक्चुअल नीड फॉर ऑल दीज डिपार्टमेंट्स एनी मोर मतलब द अमाउंट ऑफ पीपल दैट वर रिक्वायर्ड दे विल बी रिक्वायर्ड अ लॉट लेसर Why? Because smart contract is doing that work for you, and even for accounting, you can tell the smart contract to do the accounting on itself. So, if the twelve hundred dollars value entry was, if I 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 was, meaning all the accounting entries also that are going into the books of account are 100% accurate so today we do just a sample based audit and we do 10 different types of audits and then also we just say that it is a sample based auditing based on a limited 
sample based uh, auditing or account uh, uh, or checking that we have done we we go out and give our reports so here 100% che checking of data is possible okay so that is what exactly the smart contract and what are uh, how does a smart contract work i've already told you two users create a smart contract now here smart contract can be between two or more parties you can have an unlimited number of parties second is all contract terms are written on code i've already told you that the third is smart contract is stored on a blockchain so jaise maine pura smart contract bana diya i'll deploy it on the blockchain solution which is like, like right now i told you ethereum is one of the biggest use cases of one of the biggest platforms where you where you launch your smart contracts and the fourth point is smart contracts execute itself when the events are triggered so automatically as soon as the events will be triggered what will happen these smart contracts will function automatically and they will go ahead and they will create that uh, effect automatically i don't need any manual intervention anymore so now you can simply Please, imagine uh, yeah, ashwar uh, can you uh, check some questions yeah i'll just do it. on the screen sure will it give interest Uh, will it give interest for 11 months whenever you deposit your money in your current account there is no interest with, which is given to you and these are escrow accounts so escrow accounts may be in right now also which you are which you are working you, you never get an interest and uh, any other question that we have no okay so interest is not given but what you can also do is like for example instead of putting uh, just 1200 dollars you can put let's say some other kind of a digital asset let's say whose value can appreciate so if this value of that digital asset appreciates so you might get something even more than just the interest so that is something that you can do now moving ahead to the next one what are the use cases of smart contracts so there are a lot of use cases that have already been developed and which uh, which ranges from record storing to trading activities to supply chains mortgages real estate market employment agreements copyright protection healthcare services uh, retail payments why some com uh, commerce parametric contracts algorithmic management record storing contracts government voting healthcare and these are all the all the things that have already been used like one of the use case that is being the first one is retail payments so let's say we have heard of smart people we have heard of smart phone have you heard of smart money we have it so basically here what is happening is there is something called a smart money what is exactly smart money so smart money is basically this is a use case that has been developed in singapore so let's assume mera bhai jo hai ya mera mera bhai singapore mein pad raha hai ab singapore mein jab wo pad raha hai to usne mere ko call kiya usne kaha bhai mujhe 5000 dollars chahiye 5000 singapore dollars chahiye maine kaha kyun chahiye usne kaha mujhe tuition ki fees deni There is no way for me to verify कि भाई वो पांच हजार डॉलर की ट्यूशन फीस ही उसको देनी है कि नहीं देनी ही कैन यूज दैट मनी फॉर वट एवर मीन्स ही वॉन्ट्स लाइक राइट नाउ इफ आई ट्रांसफर दैट मनी इन टू इज अकाउंट नाउ वॉट आई डू इज आई बिल्ड अ स्मार्ट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट ऑन इट एंड वॉट आई डू वेन एवर आई एम ट्रांसफरिंग दिस मनी फ्रॉम माई अकाउंट टू हिज अकाउंट आई बेसिकली क्रिएट अ स्मार्ट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एंड इन दैट स्मार्ट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट आई पुट दैट फाइव थाउजेंड डॉलर and i write on the smart contract that only if the payment is being made on the education stores which uh, which so you can google any store and you can find out whether it is an education uh, it sells educational stuffs or it uh, it serves you anything which is served in a bar so it can easily be detected from there so what it will do the smart contract will, uh, it will check whether all the data of whether you are making the payment where you are making the payment so i i feed in that smart contract he only use or only get spent when this particular money is being used for educational payments so let's say my my brother still got 5000 dollars in his account but there is a smart condition that i've built it so as soon as let's say he makes the payment to an educational store or for his college or for his tuition fees that money gets deducted from his account and the payment is made but let's say i want he wants to go ahead and he wants to enjoy some a uh, 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 and uh, drink let's say at night uh, so what uh, he goes to a club as soon as he tries to make the payment through google or through the uh, internet of information that is available what it can do is it will go ahead and it will detect that this is not an educational store so if this is not an educational store even if he has the balance that balance will not move up it will still be there in his account it will say 
that this is not the store in which I can be spent. Now, this is a very small use case which can be used, but imagine this use case. If we deploy all these use cases in the charities where we donate or in the government funds where we, where we want to see or in the budget, where we want to see whether the allocation of money that has been done in the budget or the allocation or the money that we have sent to these uh, uh, these various initiatives of the government, where exactly is that money being used? So that is something that can be implemented and this is already being used. So this is one of the use cases. Another one could be for record storing. So all the records that are there, the uh, all the accounting and everything that is happening, like I already told you, most of these smart contracts get through. Reconciliation automation can also happen through it. Now, there is something uh, of a concept called triple accounting system. Now, what exactly is triple accounting system? Is it something different from the double accounting system? The answer is no, it's not different. What exactly is there? There's only one thing different. So as soon as let's say there's a debit and a credit that is done, there's a third accounting entry that is passed on the blockchain ledgers that are being produced by IBM as of now. And uh, Armanino is another form which is trying to create these kinds of software. So here what will happen is, let's say I want to go ahead and I want to buy some stuff. Let's say if I have to buy raw materials for myself. And when I have to buy those raw materials for myself and I I talk to the uh, talk to the person from whom I am buying it and I tell him, he, he quotes me a, a price of one lakh rupees. I say, okay, I won't, I will not give you one lakh rupees. Let's negotiate and I'll, after negotiation, you, you feel that you have convinced him to go ahead and to do the transaction in 98,000 rupees. So what you do is in your books of account, you do the entry at 98,000, but he's not convinced. Usne apne books of accounts mein kya kiya? Usne apne books of accounts mein ek lakh rupay ki dhani. There is a reconciliation problem there. Ab jab ye, uh, jab yahan pe iska iski invoice aayega, wo ek lakh ka aayega, lekin yahan mere paas wo 98,000 ka. So there is a problem here. Iske liye hum log kya karte hain? Alag alag reconciliation teams bitha dhe. If you see the uh, MNCs, they have huge reconciliation teams. There are like hundreds and hundreds of people doing a reconciliation. Banks, re bank reconciliation is another thing. So all these things are there. Now here with the help of smart contract, what it does is, as soon as you formally uh, complete your negotiations and here when you in your books you enter 98000 and in the other books he enters 1 lakh rupees today in today's world both these books are not talking to each other lekin with the help of triple accounting system on with the help of smart contracts what it is doing is wo books unki alag hi rahengi lekin ye smart contract jo hai ye inki books se bhi connected rahega aur inki books se bhi connected rahega jab isne 98000 ki kari aur isne 1 lakh ki entry kari to ye in dono ko turant hi warning de dega this is a this is the transaction that you are doing which is going to be not equivalent so there will be a reconciliation that will start so as soon as they get intimated so they will both talk again to each other let's say they finalize the price at 99000 now both the people part uh, both the people do the entries at 99000 as soon as this entry is done the smart contract will de detect the debit is equal to credit and it will pass a third entry onto itself or onto the solution that these companies like ibm are creating and thereby certifying that this transaction has been finally recorded at 99,000. Now the benefit of this, first of all, there is no need for any person to do the reconciliation. Second of all, later on, if this book tries to manipulate the data or this book tries to manipulate the data, because there is a third entry that has gone into the, into the ledgers through the smart contracts in the software that have been built. So they will not let you do that. If you try to do that, what will happen? The seal of trust, you can say, or uh, will be broken, and whereby what will happen is both the parties will be intimated. Ki bhai, there is a change that has been made, and this is something. First of all, if it is there completely on blockchain network, you, you cannot make the change. If it is semi blockchain network, you can make the change, but both the parties will know. So this is how, in the accounting world, this is something which is going to change. Now these solutions are already being made. Big Force are already uh, making these solutions. IBM is already making these solutions. There, these are also getting deployed. There's a uh, there's a software called Nightingale, which has been deployed by EY in uh, in Norway. So they have already deployed it. So all these solutions are getting deployed slowly and steadily. And in the upcoming three, four years, we will see most of these bigger companies using these softwares. So this is, again, I can continue going on and on. What are the use cases of uh, blockchain or smart contracts? But this is how this is done. All these things um, I, I've extensively discussed in the courses that I've done. But this is something which a smart, con smart contract does. And where exactly is the money flowing into the smart contracts? Where exactly is the money flowing on blockchains, basically? Which industries, which sectors, where blockchain 
के की तरफ पैसे जा रहे हैं तो द बिगेस्ट यूज केस और द बिगेस्ट थिंग वेर द मनी इज गोइंग इज इन फाइनेंस एंड इंश्योरेंस दर अ होल न्यू इंडस्ट्री दैट इज गेटिंग क्रिएटेड एंड आई पर्सनली मैनेज वन ऑफ वन ऑफ सच इंडस्ट्री विच इज डिसेंट्रलाइज फाइनेंस वेर बाई यू गेट रिटर्न ऑन दीज ब्लॉक चेन्स which is just like a treasury setup where you invest in bonds and all those things similarly you get returns on these particular decentralized finances financial systems so this this is the biggest one which is finance and insurance the second is information and communication so today all the information and communication that was done on the internet that all the problems that i discussed on the internet they are trying to get these problems solved so these are two of the biggest places almost 80% of these places and 4% is professional services so almost 82% is something which is getting deployed on these blockchain networks now some other use cases which have already been used or which have already been deployed for banking and financial services today i can go ahead and i can take a loan i can lend my money all these things on a blockchain without the need of any banks as uh, actually i can complete my transactions for a real estate in dubai this this use case is live whereby i can just buy and sell any property within an hour within an hour this process in india takes around 2 to 3 months there you can uh, complete this within one hour why because the government has created a portal whereby they have brought in all the intermediaries in between like uh, your nig uh, nigam services your water and land taxes services your stamp duty services your insurance services your mortgage services everything is there on one platform so you can simply just go on that platform if you want to buy a buy a particular property see what exactly is the status of it see who who was the owner who was the previous owner and all the hierarchy of that and you can simply go ahead and make the purchase within an hour so that is how quick it has become healthcare the third biggest reason for people that die on earth is because lack of because doctors do not get the information about the client at the right time now this is one of the biggest problem that is their blockchain again is solving it by putting all those records on blockchain and creating black boxes whereby only the people whose data it is versus only the people who are curing these particular people will always have the access to all the data that is related to personal health records of any individual education if you talk about certificates that you that are issued everyone who has the certification everyone who has the you can say uh, college he who go he or she goes to college and a certificate is issued you or we all know that there are there is a very big business of duplicate certificates that on goes across the globe and then you have every time you have to change your job every time you have to apply somewhere you have to go through a lot of background checks and everything so this is something again put being put on blockchain and uh, my particular platform also uses these uh, these kinds of certifications so all the certificates that we issue is is uh, put on the blockchain network and then it is issued so any time any literally any time you can just go ahead put the certificate name and you can go ahead and you can check that so that's there on the education front retail i've already told you retail payments transportation and ride sharing ola and uber are trying uh, uh, there are solutions which can compete with ola and uber that are already in place logistics walmart is using it logistics and supply chain management agriculture indian government across, uh, along with world bank is trying to create a system whereby they can pay the farmers uh, as soon as uh, based as soon as their in, uh, crop season is ruined because there was no rain or something like that uh, those payments right now go through within 2 to 3 months or even 4 or 5 months now this processing has been tested it is uh, somewhere around 12 hours in within which you can get your payments in your bank accounts so a lot of use cases are getting developed and are getting deployed on blockchain there are some things that are still in process like forecasting stock trading construction and mining sports human resources insurance insurance is on both the fronts basically some solutions have been built on insurance some are yet to be built so all those things are there which is which are getting uh, created on blockchain then let's say if you talk about insurance industry so insurance industry there are a lot of things which Uh, are being done like for example fraud prevention um, if you have put something on the blockchain network uh, nobody can later on edit that data then streamlining routine interactions risk prevention on demand insurances bio uh, reinsurances micro insurances p2p insurance now p2p insurance does not almost exist in india p2p insurance basically is whereby you can just go ahead and take the claim or take uh, take on insurance of some other individual let's say someone is traveling from one place to another and he applies for a p2p insurance and you are someone who gives p2p insurance so you can personally take his insurance okay 
I am taking this particular individual's insurance that he can go from here to there. And if there is a mishap that happens, so this is the amount of claim I'll be going at and paying. So this is something that this is also evolving. The next is if I talk about stock markets. So today the biggest problem with stock market is the settlements. So the, your settlements happen in T plus two days, and there are so many intermediaries involved. First, you have your DMAT account, and the, that DMAT account is with a broker. That broker has two types of account. One is a pool account, and the other is your DMAT account. So when you trade, all the trades are taken in the pool account first. After that pool account, what happens? Those pool accounts, the Sara ka Sara data uthega, NSDL or CBSL jayega. Maabe settlement hota us data ka. Settlement hone ke baad, fir aapke jo pool account ka data tha, wo wahan se jaake aapke DMAT account mein aata hai. And this whole process, first of all, includes a lot of intermediaries, and second of all, take a lot of time. T plus two days. and other problems that are there is basically let's say if i want to go ahead and i want to buy a share of mrf 93 94 000 rupees ka ek share hai i cannot if i do not have let's say i have 10000 rupees can i invest in mrf share the answer is no why because bhai you cannot have partial holdings of it another problem that we have is bhai stock market jo hai wo chalta hai agar india ki baat kare to sawa nau se saade thi agar mere ko sham ko 6 baje koi stock khareedna hai kya main khareed sakta hu the answer is no all these problems are being solved by blockchain here again where blockchains what they are doing is they are offering you partial holdings they are giving you international holdings in the form of uh, in the form of tokens so let's say you want to invest in a share of tesla today so you have to go ahead and you have to have an international bank account then you have to have a, a dmat account in that uh, let's say in us for example which is like a robinhood account and then in that robinhood account you will go ahead and then you will deposit your money and all those things so this whole process will take at least a week once you are setting this up so and if you want to do this right now i can within 5 minutes i can also go ahead and i can do the same thing on blockchains so this is something which is evolving where you can have partial ownership if you are if let's say again i take the example of mrf share main i can just buy a 100 rupee worth of mrf share as well so that is also something that is developing there are platforms called binance or ftx exchange which is trying to do that so all those things are also evolving and if i talk about uh, like what are the use cases uh, if i talk about what exactly are the use cases for financial people so here are some of the financial i have already discussed it but let me give it another uh, another detailed uh, interaction the first is audit and accounting so i've already told you how the accounting where all the manual accounting was done a lot of automations are happening basically with the help of two technologies one is rpa and the other one is blockchain so rpa what it does is it streamlines and lets you do uh, it goes ahead and feeds the data automatically without human intervention so let's say uh, rpa is something whereby if you have a routine job rpa can replace you any moment so it's not something which is very expensive something like that it is very uh, cost efficient or anything and it can very easily be deployed so that is what is uh, rpa so through rpa if you have any routine jobs those routine jobs can be done and once the data is put on the uh, let's say uh, is fed on the systems on the accounting systems and uh, let's say they are being run on blockchain software so we already know how much transparency it gives how, how good audit trail it gives it gives your near real time data so every time let's say you have to every quarter you have to go ahead and file your returns here you don't need to go ahead and do the audits again and again because the data is coming real time yes you will have to find out the uh, mistakes that have been so i'm not saying you don't need people anymore you need those people but i i'm just saying that this way the need of those people let's say today the need of those people is let's say 1000 tomorrow the need for those people could be 100 obviously humans will always be needed no matter what technology comes in so that is something that is there but the demand on this particular front is going to reduce because these uh, things can be done by the software itself so firms like uh, oracle like i've already told you oracle ibm they're working on triple accounting system softwares and instead of doing the audit of accounting entries what audit you will be doing in the future is you will be doing the audit of smart contracts so if the smart contract is correct if the codes are correct that means any entry that is flowing into the books is automatically correct i'll take an example here again let's say you are the auditor of airtel so if if you go ahead and airtel on a daily on a daily basis you go ahead and you play somewhere around 2 crore calls on a, i don't maybe that that's the number so 2 crore calls like let's say you go uh, airtel processes every hour or every day now you cannot go ahead and you cannot audit all those 2 crore uh, calls what you will do is you will sample out sample based data you will take out a sample based data for every plan that exists and you will check whether the accounting is happening properly or not now here with the help of smart contract what will happen those accountings will be passed through a smart contract 
when the where the conditions will be built in so if you have using a 199 plan so you will say these numbers are using 199 plan so account accordingly allocate allocate the amount of data to them uh, that way and uh, accordingly when they're placing the calls and everything do the accounting also that way so here what will happen if the smart contract is correct all the accounting that has been done through the smart contract will automatically be correct so instead of uh, you can say doing uh, audit of all the transactions in future in near future you will be doing the audit of smart contracts so that is for accounting and audit consultancy again these are the places uh, if you if you talk about oracle and sap consultant so the blockchain consultant will also do some something similar what so first of all let's say if you uh, you will go ahead you will meet the companies which are uh, going ahead and onboarding these softwares and then you will find out what exactly is the problem that they're trying to solve whether that problem can be solved by which particular blockchain then you will uh, go ahead and you will in, you will be a part of all those interactions that are going to happen and later on what is going to happen is after your interactions as well you will be able to go ahead and you will be able to uh, give out your consultancy services you will be a part of the detailed consultation requirement gathering and even the prototype making so till here the finance uh, finance people will be there will be needed very much they'll be playing a very big role there and maybe after the mvp they they uh, they can just go, they they can work as testers where all the let's say whatever the demand or requirement of the client was let's say for the accounting software which they are developing on blockchain let's say so they will be checking whether all the accounting and everything has is coming out as per the requirements of the client and then they can finally hand over the project to the techies and take a lead so that's one use case another is let's say central gra access granting systems so here also this is something which will come but on a later date where private blockchains come into picture where co corporates do not go on a public blockchain they go on a private blockchain and you need people to ensure that the that the data that is being fed is is the access and everything that they they are getting so they are the right accesses anyone who is adding the data he is exactly doing that properly and everything so that is something that you are also can go ahead and then as a consultant you can work on now on the tax areas of direct and indirect tax one of the biggest problems that we have in indirect tax is uh, the theft of input credits so there are bogus bills and everything there for bogus entries and every now and then we go ahead and we hear that okay this amount or this person uh, has come out who had created bogus bills and everything now when we attach blockchains with iot devices what happens is your accounting and everything that is happening on the blockchains and with the help of iot you can actually in real time track whether the goods are actually moving or not whether the or the bills that are authentic or not how you can do that if you have iot devices installed in the premises or in the trucks and everything which are moving from here and there and are taking or carrying your goods from here and there automatically you will know that yes this is something where all the goods and services that are moving that are all the goods that are moving they are actually moving it's not something which is just a bogus entry so it it can help the authorities a lot to chain out or to find out all those people who are trying to create those bogus uh, things and that is something that is pretty cool to reduce all that input credit uh, issues that are there reconciliation can also be eliminated here why because only the accounting entries will happen once the goods have been delivered and so that reconciliation can also be taken care here yes these things will evolve this is not something which has evolved right now this is something in the process right now so there are some firms in india which are trying to create the solution uh, i have been interacting with a lot of them right now so i can say that they are working on it and slowly and steadily you will see such solutions out in the market so that is it uh, for basically you can say but there are other rules as well in the finance like first of all uh, like you do your equity research or mergers and acquisition similarly you you do your research in digital assets so this is this is one of my job role which is there where i go ahead and i research what blockchains and other digital assets to ensure or to tell my clients whether that is a that is a proper investment to uh, where they can invest or that is something where they do they shouldn't be investing in something like that and whether they should be going ahead with any mergers and acquisitions and if they should be what is the model that they should be adopting and how the what is the pricing and everything that you have to bring up second is product development being a financial person when new products in the market now which are coming they are already out there so you will have to go ahead and you will have to tell the companies okay this is a product 
which can be developed where you can go ahead and where you can uh, take better returns and all those things you imagine yourself as those mutual fund guys and all those people who are coming in and telling you that you can invest in here and you can invest in there so that is what is product development third is blockchain consultants like i've already told you different types of blockchains that are there you have to consult which blockchain to adopt or whether blockchain to adopt or not then crypto tax experts so, so basically taxation is one of the biggest difficulty here why because taxation is very tedious here very 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 tedious here why i'll tell you because first of all there are partial holdings you you do not get the complete uh, you can say let's say in if in equity market you get one share now here you can have partial holdings second is in equities if you when you transfer your funds you get a prop you there is a proper documentation and everything that is happening now in blockchains you can transfer from one place to another from one exchange to across the globe anywhere and that's something which is very difficult to go ahead and to compute at that point of time and again there are very lesser rules and clarity there so on a, on a normal basis where you go ahead and if you file the normal income tax return which is like 500 or 1000 or 2000 rupee for an individual i pretty much almost get 15 to 20000 that's that's the minimum that i get if i if i go ahead and i particularly file the taxes for these people then node validators again something right now is not getting developed that much i'm not going to fo focus on that second is uh, last one is treasury manager so treasury is basically like you uh, in the normal treasury you go out and bring returns uh, here this is the decentralized finance so decentralized finance you go ahead and bring the returns I, uh, i've discussed this a lot in my course which is there on decentralized finance and uh, this is something which which right now uh, also i i am doing so all these things are there where i get returns for corporates as well so a lot of things are there again there are internships opportunities as well so if you are a student who, who is yet to complete his professional uh, certification and everything so you can go for internships as well and these internships are not something which will pay you like a 1000 or a 5000 or a 6000 rupee they, they they pay you very good and, and to prove that i brought a snapshot with me which is like where you get 3000 die per month for a 6 month internship so that's like 18000 die and it one die is equals to 1 dollar so 18000 dollars for a 6 month internship so the job opportunities are immense the potential is immense and the revenue or the amount of money that is flowing because the people are very less in india there are not even a thousand people who can or make you understand properly what exactly is our blockchains and how did they work so basically a lot of demand that is there the supply is very less and one of the most lucrative field if you want to enter and you want to venture into blockchains as of now so with that i will uh, conclude my presentation here and uh, one thing before i conclude is basically indian paradigm so a lot of people come ahead and say say india mein kuch nahi ho raha blockchain ke upar so this is one sector which is like public sector which is like the governments so in this map you can see more than 50% of the states are working on blockchain solutions ye to sarkar work kar rahi individuals companies are definitely working but this is the government working on blockchain so people if they are saying that india mein blockchain ke upar kuch nahi ho raha there are a lot of initiatives across the across the whole india which is which are happening so don't be fooled by uh, comparing blockchain with cryptocurrency or bitcoin and feel like india mein to abhi kuch ho hi nahi raha usme to ban ho jayega this is not a opportunity for you understand one thing that there is something called what there is something called a, a digital uh, distributed ledger technology which is dlt that's like an ocean from that ocean comes out a river which is a blockchain and from that river if you draw out a mug of water that is this bitcoin and cryptocurrency so there are a lot of use cases of blockchain that are being used and that are emerging from day in day out so don't feel that this is something where you 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 will not be getting something like that so a lot of new technologies a lot of use cases are something that are coming in here and which you can go ahead and which you can understand and you can create a good future here i put it pers personally i am creating that so that's why i can say it's not something i have not done and i am saying okay hey kuch hota hoga wahan pe this is something which i am right now working on i'm earning and everything that is there so that is something i can go ahead and i can say that we, this is something where a lot of opportunities literally a lot of opportunities are there and there are not even if, if i talk about the chartered accountants community there are not even 100 professionals who can go ahead and who can uh, say that i know what exactly blockchains are so there is a very big demand i can promise you that there is a very big demand so with that i can give ओके थैंक यू सर कोई क्वेश्चन तो नहीं है क्योंकि ये कॉन्सेप्ट ही बहुत ही नया है लोगों के लिए भी स्पेशली हमारे डोमेन में नया का मतलब न्यू ये नहीं कि इंडस्ट्री में नया है हमारे लिए नया है क्योंकि आप तो सीए हैं तो आई होप सो पुराने प्रोफेशनल्स को भी देखे होंगे 
उनकी वर्किंग स्टाइल को भी देखे होंगे कंप्यूटर चलाने से लेके एक्सेल चलाने तो ब्लॉकचेन की आप बात कर रहे हो तो मतलब चांद पे जाने जैसे जो रॉकेट अभी तिस्ला ने बनाई है एक्स ने बनाया है उस हिसाब से ये सोचने वाली बात है हमारी फैटर्निटी के लिए कि हम चांद पे पहुंच गए और ये ब्लॉकचेन यूज कर रहे हैं यंग लोग नो डाउट कि थोड़ा बहुत कुछ चीजों को समझते हैं जानते हैं और वही लोग कर रहे हैं जैसे कि हम लोग अगर आप देखें तो ओ पे काम कर रहे हैं मतलब मुझे ये तो पैंडमिक ने लोगों को ओ समझा दिया अदरवाइज हमें तो समझाते हुए थक जाते थे लोगों को समझ में नहीं आता था कि वो ओ क्या है कैसे है तो ब्लॉकचेन का भी वही मामला है वो तो कहें एक क्रिप्टो करेंसी है बिटकॉइन है जिसने कम से कम अवेयरनेस फैला रखा है अगर ये शायद बिटकॉइन नहीं होता ना तो ये फिर तो मुंगेरी लाल के हसीन सपने थे आप किसी को कितना भी समझाएं वो समझने वाला नहीं होता सो so, बिटकॉइन अपने आप में क्योंकि जो जो थोड़ा बहुत भी जानता है वो बिटकॉइन के बारे में कहीं ना कहीं थोड़ी इन्फॉर्मेशन कहीं ज्यादा और कम रखता है और उसकी वजह से ब्लॉक लोगों को आप कह सकते हैं कि एक अवेयरनेस फैल चुकी है लोगों को थोड़ा पता है बट फर्टिनिटी में मुझे नहीं लगता है कि इतनी जल्दी एडोप्टेबिलिटी है हमारे यहाँ हम बहुत ही रिजिड हैं और बहुत ज्यादा रिजिड हैं और जो पुराने प्रोफेशनल वो बहुत ही ज्यादा है तो अगर आप कंपेयर करेंगे ना इसको स्टॉक मार्केट से कंपेयर करिए आप अगर आपको याद हो या आपने किसी से पूछेगा जब स्टॉक मार्केट में जब ये डिजिटलाइजेशन हुआ था तो बहुत सारे लोग आए थे उन्होंने कहा था हो ही नहीं सकता ये तो हो ही गई नहीं हम तो करने ही नहीं देंगे और जितने लोगों ने अडॉप्ट कर लिया था वो आज टॉप पे बैठे ये तो ये तो बहुत बेसिक चीज है जब आप देखें मैं हमेशा कहता हूँ बिस्लेरी को लेके कहता हूँ अगर बिस्लेरी का बुक पढ़ेंगे ना तो जब बिस्लेरी इंडिया में आई थिंक छब्बीस सत्ताईस साल पहले आया था तो नो डाउट उसका अपना विजन रहा होगा उस विजन में लोगों ने कहा जिस देश में गंगा यमुना सरस्वती जैसी नदी होंगी क्या कभी कोई बोतल का पानी पिएगा आज हम पानी भूल गए हम बिजलेरी बोलते हैं अगर पानी चाहिए तो हम बिजलेरी तो कहने का मतलब एडोप्टेबिलिटी आती है लोग चेंज होते हैं बट इट विल टेक टाइम इतना आसान नहीं होता है जितना आसान हम सोचते हैं और कहीं ना कहीं उस हिसाब से चीजों को आपको मैप करने की जरूरत है नो डाउट टेक्नोलॉजी में बहुत पोटेंशियल है अगर आप उस पर काम कर रहे हैं चीजों को समझते हैं और अगर आप उसमें आगे बढ़ते हैं तो कोई लिमिट नहीं है स्काई इज लिमिट टेक्नोलॉजी में तो ये मामला है खैर इसके अलावा किसी का कोई क्वेश्चन है तो प्लीज आप करें ऐश्वर्या हमारे साथ हैं और उस पर वो कुछ कमेंट कर सकते हैं आई थिंक ये उनसे भी हमारा कनेक्शन में कोई इश्यू आ रहा है तो आज के लिए इतना ही बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद थैंक यू थैंक्स लोग और हम फिर से कुछ सीरीज देखे आने वाले हैं आप देखते रहे और इनकम टैक्स में अभी हो सकता है हम वो कह सकते हैं लगभग शुरू कर रहे हैं अभी तक मैं ये कह सकता हूँ कि इंडिया का सबसे बड़ा इनकम टैक्स का सीरीज शुरू होने वाला है और उसमें लगभग 16 प्रोफेशनल होंगे एक क्रॉस इंडिया होंगे 40 वेबिनार होंगे तो वेट एंड वॉच स्टे ट्यून विद टैक्स फॉर वेल्थ हमारे पोर्टल पे जाएं हमारे ऐप को डाउनलोड करें शेयर करें सब्सक्राइब करें और इस तरह की चीजों को कुछ गोविंद जी ऐश्वर्या अब हमारे साथ है नहीं आई थिंक कोई नेटवर्क इशू आ गया है अगर वो होते तो मैं जरूर क्योंकि मैं तो इस पर कोई कमेंट करने से रहा और मुझे ये बिटकॉइन ऐसे भी समझ में आता नहीं है तो इसमें कुछ कर नहीं सकते हैं राय सर वी विल ट्राई कि हम कोई दूसरा सेशन करें जितनी जल्दी हो अभी तो फिलहाल आज का एक सेशन था अगली बार भी हम कुछ ना कुछ इस पर लेके आएंगे तो आज के लिए इतना ही बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद थैंक